Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things today. Um, it's kind of a random video, and I know I haven't put up my, um, I keep saying I'm going to do the more of my jewelry to show you guys, but I keep forgetting. So anyway, in the meantime, um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things that, um, I've recently got, and, um, yeah, so anyway, sorry, that was a weird pause. Um, so the first thing is this um, Tresemme Fresh Start. And what it is, is um, a dry shampoo. So, um, it's kind of, I don't know. I bought it a little bit ago, and I wanted to test it out a few times before I told you guys what I really thought. And, um, I guess... It's okay, it's not like amazing, like, I haven't used any dry shampoos actually before, but um, I'm assuming they're probably a little bit better than this. Um, so basically what you do, it tells you to do is shake it, and then spray it um, onto your hair wherever it's greasy, and then leave it in for about one to two minutes. And so what I noticed... Um, is, like, when you, um, when you leave it in, it, st it starts to get really white. Like, it looks like you have white hair. It's really, it's kind of funny, actually. Um, but then when you, um, it says to brush it out after. So there's, like, four steps, but, so step three is to brush it out and style as usual. But what I noticed is, like, when you brush it out, um, it makes, first of all, it makes your brush really chalky, like, because all the white stuff gets stuck in your brush. Um, and then if you use, um, like a comb, it doesn't work to get all the stuff, the shampoo stuff out. So it's sort of difficult to, like, get out of your hair without it looking weird. And then, so, I tried, um... After I took it out on my bangs, because usually my bangs by the second day get really greasy. And so what I did was I put it just on my bangs and kind of up here. And then when I brushed it out, I tried to get everything out. And then I used a hair straightener on my bangs. And right when I put the hair straightener in my hair, it basically was like greasy again. So I don't think, I mean, if you just brush it out, it's okay. It's not like amazing, but... It says to brush it out and then style as usual. So if styling as usual, I would straighten my bangs because they get kind of wavy sometimes throughout the day because my hair is wavy. So that didn't really work that well. But, um, and then it says step four for a shinier texture, follow with refreshing mist. So maybe that's something that you need after it. Maybe I should try that. I don't know, but... Um, I mean, I haven't washed my hair today, this is the second day, and it's not as greasy, um, and I haven't used this, so, I don't know, I think, like, the only time it's really good to use is, like, the very next day after you wash your hair, and it's a little greasy, but if your hair gets really greasy, I don't recommend using this, because it doesn't work that well as you'd want it to, so, um, yeah, and it, it works, I don't know, I think it works pretty well, but, I don't know, that's just my opinion, it's, it's okay, and it says for oily slash straight to normal hair, which is kind of like everything, I guess, and it says professional quality, so, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, it's okay, if you, if, I mean, my hair gets kind of greasy, so I use it sometimes, um, but anyway, if you have hair like mine and you don't, like, if it doesn't get greasy, like, a ton, then it's okay then. I mean, it's, it's an okay product. It's not horrible, but, yeah. So that's what I think about it. This is what it looks like if you were wanting to get it. Okay. The other thing is, lately, um, I'm getting my hair cut on Friday. Not cut drastically, just to trim. And I'm probably going to cut my bangs again. Because they're driving me insane. They're at a really weird point in growing where they're just like weird and I they don't go where I want them to, which is weird because before when I would grow 
my bangs out, I would just push them to the side and they'd stay and be normal. But lately they're just being weird. But anyway, um, so most of you know I have naturally pretty wavy hair. Like, uh, my hair is kind of messy right now, but I'll show you. Um, my hair is usually very wavy. So this is, it looks kind of creepy and weird right now because I woke up and I didn't really do anything to it. But um, what I've been doing lately is using one of these, and I kind of forgot what they're called, but you put it on the end of your blow dryer. You take off the nozzle of your other one, and you put this on. And I don't know um, very much about these. I mean, I know they're for curly hair, probably, and wavy hair and stuff. I don't know if you can get these separately, you probably can, I'm assuming at like beauty stores, but this one came with my hair dryer, along with some other weird tools, but um, anyway, so I put this on, and what I do is I put all of my products in my hair products, whatever you use, this is better for wavy to curly hair, This um, I don't know what it does for straight hair, because I, I don't know anybody with straight hair, and I don't have straight hair, so um, anyway. What I do is it's wet, I put all my hair products in, and then I bend over, and what you do is, because it has these little bumpy things, what it, it's, I think what it's designed for is to kind of, it kind of holds it in place, and you can go like that, hold it, or move it around, and when you bring it down, it actually gets pretty curly. So when I do this, when I'm done, it's, it dries pretty fast and it's designed so it doesn't like burn your head when it's close. Um, and when I take it out, it's really curly and big. My hair is like humongous and curly. So if you have curly hair, this will really make it like um, a lot curlier. And, it, and it's, it's a dryer for curly hair because if you think about it, curly haired people can't use regular ones that like, you know, the one that makes your hair more straight because it just doesn't work for their hair. So these work really well. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've been doing this while I'm waiting to get my hair cut because I don't really want to completely dry my hair and it's just being weird and annoying. So this is good to use if you're feeling lazy because it actually dries your hair pretty fast. So yeah, so that's that. And one more thing I thought I'd just show you guys not show you, but um, I was thinking about doing a makeup tutorial with um, purple lips, um, how to wear purple lips, because um, this kind of reminds me of spring, this color, and I've only worn it a few times, and it's kind of interesting, and I wanted to do, I'm not going to do the tutorial now, but I'm thinking I'm going to. Um, so anyway, this is what the product is, it's Illamasqua. Um, purple lip gloss, and it's in Fierce, I think, yeah, it's called Fierce, and it's an intense lip gloss. So their lip glosses come in little tubes like this, and when you open it, it's just um, a little tip thing that comes out, and you squeeze, oh, the purple comes out, and so it's really bright, but you can put it on really dark and bright. Or you can put it on a little bit and it's just like a purple tint. Um, because it's kind of society is not used to colors like this on people's lips, I tend to put a little bit on because actually I think I did wear it pretty bright once and people were looking at me like, what the heck. Um, I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like because it's pretty bright. Like, you might be surprised. So I just put a little bit on my lips, but you can see that it's really kind of a weird color that you wouldn't see normally, like, on most people. But anyway, it's kind of an interesting color, and um, yeah. So if you put a little bit on, it kind of looks cool, and you can get away with it. But if you put a ton on, it's kind of weird. Unless you're going to some kind of party or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah, and maybe I'll show how to do um, what I did with my eyes. It looked better in the morning, but um, throughout the day it gets kind of weird. 
So yeah, um, those are my things I was just going to tell you guys. And yeah, so hopefully I'll do more videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.